This is Jerome. And this is Jerome's first day in his new home at Community First Village. Amen. We filmed this more than two years ago. But as we started working on new stories about homelessness, we kept thinking about this older one. What happened to Jerome? This is one of my favorites that I did. You look at a unicorn and you feel good, you know. Community First Village has a retention rate of roughly 85%, and Jerome is one of those success stories. I do some wood burning, so I'm, I'm learning that skill, and that actually when I was working for the theater, I had some input into that. It's, it, it's everything coming together, and that's, that's what this place gives you a chance to do, is to bring things back together. Jerome has lingering health issues that require access to medical care and exercise. Two things he can easily access here. Another thing he can get here is mail, like these letters from families who help fund his home. I hope you treasure it. Everyone deserves a place to call home. Mail and electric bills and hobbies. It feels downright domestic compared to the first time we met Jerome. We're good to go, let's go. It was 2017 during Austin's annual point in time count. HUD requires that communities do a count of people inside and outside. So we have a sheltered count going on and an unsheltered count. Thanks. Jerome wasn't in a shelter. He had a sleeping bag in a quiet spot in a wooded area. He'd been homeless in Austin since 2015. Everything you do when you're homeless, everything takes a long time and it's a, it's a big effort. I think you can see it out at uh, Community First Village that these are really good people. If you, if you feed them and you, you get them some, um, some the medical attention that they need and take away the fear and uh, you know show that there's some caring out there and give them an opportunity, uh, you're going to find some of the most generous and uh, loving people. That housing will never solve homelessness, but community will. Community First Village is the brainchild of Alan Graham. The 27-acre community opened its doors in 2016. And this place provides much more than housing to the chronically homeless. There are support services and work programs, and most crucially, a sense of community. I'm just hoping that we get off this insidious train of not recognizing why this is happening uh, and start recognizing that humans need love. They need family, they need community. Uh, and let's get up underneath this and uh, make it happen. Jerome's life has transformed in two years. And so has Community First. It's expanding the size of the neighborhood by 24 acres and adding 300 more housing units, more gardens, and a wellness center. Like hey, all right. All right, I'm 65 now, but going strong. Jerome isn't surprised by the expansion. After all, who wouldn't want to live here? For me, it's a divine blessing. There's so many great people here. You know, you're going to want to come live here. You, you're going to... I know. 